Hi, I'm Colleen with Mirror Maker and More. Today I'm going to show you a little tutorial how to use glass stains by DecoArt to make your own faux stained glass. You can make it on a uh, thrift store window frame like this and I'll be showing you how to make a simple oak leaf on a little dollar store frame. So Here are the supplies start. you're going to need to make your faux stained glass. I'm using a frame from the dollar store and I'll just use the piece of glass out of that. Once your glass is dried, just place it on top of your pattern and then if you want to do a border around the frame, the easiest way I've found to get your lines relatively straight is just to use some painter's tape. And then you're going to take your liquid letting and just start pouring. Now, it does take a little bit of practice to get the consistency and flow that you want, but it actually is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. And I have the tip right along the glass. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, keep in mind this is going to be wet. So however you're going to um, apply the leading, you don't want to rest your hand and I have a bad habit of that. So what I'm going to do is start on my leaf right now and with, again with the tip on the glass I just follow along the pattern. If you make a mistake, if it gets too thick, don't worry about it because once it dries you can take um, a razor blade or an X-Acto knife and clean it up. So I'm going to go and finish this all in and then set that aside to dry. Okay, I'm done with my letting, so now I'm going to wipe the tip each time and go ahead and put it right in the cap and then you shouldn't get any um, drying which would affect the next time you're going to pour. And then I'm just going to remove the tape while the letting is still wet and hopefully have a nice crisp line. Not bad. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out in doing this fall leaf are the extra lines that I have going here and here. If you think about real stained glass and look at some pictures, they do it in sections of glass. So all I've done is to make it look a little bit more um, realistic is divide it up into sections and that will become more evident as we continue on. Okay, the letting has dried and remember I told you not to worry if you get some bumps or extra letting in your picture. All you need to do is take your X-Acto knife and you can just cut right along the, the glass and trim whatever you want off of there, just like that. So if you think there's more in certain areas, go ahead and trim up what you want. Now what I'm going to do is start adding the color. And I'm going to use a combination of brown and yellow glass stain by DecoArt. You need your stains, and then you need just a simple toothpick or something to um, spread the stain around. And I'm going to start right here with the leaf. Start off by squeezing a little less than you think you're going to need. And in a relatively small area because you want to mix it as when it's still damp. These make it really nice to um, set upside down. I just didn't do it this time. So a little bit of yellow, a little bit of brown. Now, notice how it is not all the way to the edges. You're going to use your toothpick for that. So you can make little swirls or however you want and I'm going to spread it to the edges of the leaf. Once I get it spread, 
then I can make the design swirl however I want. And you want it to come all the way up onto the leading. As it dries, it will shrink a little bit and reduce in its size. So make sure you get it all the way to the edge. Then what you do is just swirl it however you want. You don't have to use two colors, like the brown and the yellow. You could just use one or the other. But I wanted to show you how easy it is to just swirl your paint. And then once I'm done, I just take my paper towel, wipe it off, and then I'm ready to squirt some more. If you want, you could have, you and you're going to put your glass into a frame, you could actually put letting all the way around the perimeter and like you're setting it into the frame. And that gives you a more realistic look. I didn't on this small one, but it's certainly an option. What I'm going to do now, though, is just fill in with a little bit of color. I'm going to use the pearlescent orange. All the pearlescents have a, a little bit of a sheen to it. They're very pretty. And it's real simple. Same thing. This time I'm not going to mix colors, but you could. You could add um, two, three colors. You could add some clear, whatever you want. Again, not completely filling it in. And then with a toothpick, Again, I'm just spreading it to the letting and to the frame. It's helpful if you have a Q-tip, if you get some on the frame like I just did, or um, you can wait until it dries completely and then just pull it off with an X-Acto knife. But, so I just spread it to the letting, and then if you want to do a design, you can add some lines, however you want to do it. You won't notice it until it's completely dry as much, but you will notice it. And then you just fill all the way around. Now, I'm going to fill in the clear portions of the um, stained glass with, I'm just using clear. You could use color if you wanted, but for this time I'm just using clear. And I want to show you how you can get it to look almost like it's marbled glass, just with a simple paintbrush. You just do a, a couple little drops. You can always add more when you want to. And then I'm just going to spread it out a little bit because I got too much in this corner. The more you use the brush, you will get some bubbles. Um, if they don't pop as you're manipulating your brush, you can take a little toothpick and poke them. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's not going to hurt anything. You just want to... Um, not have that many bubbles. Okay, so I've got it spread out pretty evenly. Now, you can leave it like that and it's going to show up really nicely when you hold it up to the light. Or you can do just little patterns, just like a um, little X's if you want. You could also do little half circles, whatever you want to do. And I have so much on my brush that I can just kind of bring something over here to this section and do the same thing. X's or circles or just make it random. But the little brush helps you to get into these tight areas. And this is just with the clear transparent stain. 